The sun bittern, Euripiga helias, is a bittern-like bird of tropical regions of the Americas, and the sole member of the family Euripigidae, sometimes spelled Euripigidae, and genus Euripiga. It is found in Central and South America and has three subspecies. The sun bittern shows both morphological and molecular similarities with the cagu, Rhinochetos jubatus of New Caledonia, indicating a Gondwanic origin, both species being placed in the clade Euripigi forms. The sun bittern is usually placed in the grua forms, but this was always considered preliminary. Altogether, the bird is most similar to another bird that was provisionally placed in the grua forms, the cagu, Rhinochetos jubatus. Molecular studies seem to confirm that the cagu and sun bittern are each other's closest living relatives and have a similar wing display. They are probably not gruiforms, though the proposed metives are just as weakly supported. Altogether, the two species seem to form a minor Gondwanan lineage which could also include the extinct ads bills and or the mesites, and is of unclear relation to the gruiforms proper. Notably, the cagu and mesites also have powder down. The bird has a generally subdued coloration, with fine linear patterns of black, gray, and brown. Its remiges, however, have vividly colored middle webs, which with wings fully spread show bright eye spots in red, yellow, and black. These are shown to other sun bitterns in courtship and threat displays, or used to startle potential predators. Male and female adult sun bitterns can be differentiated by small differences in the feather patterns of the throat and head. Like some other birds, the sun bittern has powder down. The sun bittern has a long and pointed bill that is black above, and a short hallux as in shorebirds and rails. In the South American subspecies found in lowlands east of the Andes, the upper parts are mainly brown, and the legs and lower mandible are orange-yellow. The two other subspecies are grayer above, and their legs and bill are sometimes redder. The sun bittern's range extends from Guatemala to Brazil. The nominate race, E.H. Helias, is found east of the Andes in lowland tropical South America, from the Orinoco Basin. Through the Amazon Basin and Pantanal, the subspecies E.H. Meridianalis has a more restricted distribution, being found along the East Andean slope in south-central Peru. In the lower subtropical zone at altitudes of 800 to 1,830 meters, 2,620 to 6,000 feet, the final subspecies, E.H. Major, is found at various altitudes ranging from southern Guatemala through Central America and the Chaco to western Ecuador. This subspecies may also be present in southern Mexico. It has been traditionally reported from the Atlantic slope of Chiapas, but no specimens are known and there have been no recent records. The species is found in the humid neotropical forests, generally with an open understory and near rivers, streams, ponds or lagoons. They are cryptic birds that display their large wings, that exhibits a pattern that resemble eyes, when they feel threatened. The sun bittern consumes a wide range of animal prey. Insects form an important part of the diet, with cockroaches, dragonfly larvae, flies, katydids, water beetles and moths being taken. Other invertebrate prey includes crabs, spiders, shrimps and earthworms. They will also take vertebrate prey including fish, tadpoles, toads and frogs, eels and lizards. Sun bitterns are one of 12 species of birds in five families that have been described as fishing using baits or lures to attract prey to within striking distance. This type of behavior falls within the common definition of tool use. In sun bitterns this behavior has only been observed in captive birds so far. Sun bitterns start nesting in the early wet season and before it starts they make flight displays 10 to 15 meters, 33 to 49 feet, high in the forest canopy. They build open nests in trees and lay two eggs with blotched markings. The young are precocial, but remain in the nest for several weeks after hatching.
El ave toro, Euripiga elias, es un ave parecida al abeto de las regiones tropicales de América y el único miembro de la familia Euripigidae, a veces escrita Euripigidae, y del género Euripiga. Se encuentra en América Central y del Sur y tiene tres subespecies. El sol amargo muestra similitudes tanto morfológicas como moleculares con el cagu, rinochetos jubatus, de Nueva Caledonia. Lo que indica un origen gondwánico, ubicándose ambas especies en el clado Euripigiformes. El sol amargo generalmente se ubica en los gruiformes, pero esto siempre se consideró preliminar. En conjunto, el ave es muy similar a otra ave que fue colocada provisionalmente en los gruiformes, el cagu, rinochetos jubatus. Los estudios moleculares parecen confirmar que el cagu y el zumbitern son los parientes vivos más cercanos del otro y tienen una exhibición de alas similar. Probablemente no sean gruiformes, aunque las metaves propuestas tienen el mismo apoyo débil. En conjunto, las dos especies parecen formar un linaje gondwánico menor que también podría incluir las extintas H. Bilsi, o los mesitas, y cuya relación no está clara con los gruiformes propiamente dichos. En particular, el cagu y los mesites también tienen plumón en polvo. El ave tiene una coloración generalmente tenue, con finos patrones lineales de negro, gris y marrón. Sus remiges sin embargo, tienen redes medias de colores vivos, que con las alas completamente extendidas muestran manchas oculares brillantes en rojo, amarillo y negro. Estos se muestran a otros pájaros del sol en exhibiciones de cortejo y amenaza, o se usan para asustar a depredadores potenciales. Los machos y las hembras de los pájaros adultos se pueden diferenciar por pequeñas diferencias en los patrones de las plumas de la garganta y la cabeza. Como otras aves, el abetoro tiene plumón en polvo. El abetoro tiene un pico largo y puntiagudo que es negro en la parte superior y un jalux corto como en las aves playeras y los rálidos. En la subespecie sudamericana que se encuentra en las tierras bajas al este de los Andes. Las partes superiores son principalmente marrones y las patas y la mandíbula inferior son de color amarillo anaranjado. Las otras dos subespecies son más grises arriba y sus patas y pico a veces son más rojos. El rango de distribución del sol se extiende desde Guatemala hasta Brasil. La carrera nominada, E.H. Elias, se encuentra al este de los Andes en las tierras bajas tropicales de América del Sur, desde la cuenca del Orinoco, pasando por la cuenca del Amazonas y el Pantanal. La subespecie E.H. Meridionalis, tiene una distribución más restringida y se encuentra a lo largo de la vertiente andina oriental en el centro sur de Perú. 